Hi, this is Martin, and this will be my first video showing you how to do the initial configuration of a Nutanix single node cluster. So the first thing you'll want to do after the initial installation is go to the web page, log in with admin as username and admin as password as well. You'll be asked to change the password, and you can just choose what you want and hit continue. So you have to log in with your Nutanix Next credentials. I already created mine. If you don't have that, you can click the create account and go to the website and create one. The configuration will then check if you have your account enabled and access to all the right things. And the first page you'll look at is the overview page. It's called the home. You'll see the hypervisor installed, the Nutanix version, disk space and VMs and so on. There'll always be one VM running and that will be the, the CVM for Nutanix. So the first thing I'll do is change the cluster name. I'll call it citrixlabs.pk. Virtual IP address and services will be later on, not this video. And so the next thing you want to do is configure the NTP server. There's already two pre-configured, but I'll remove them and put in my local one for the same service, but PK. There we go. The next thing I want to do is do my network configuration. So I hit network configuration under the options. I want to click create network. And the first network I want to create is called Citrix LAN. And it's called VLAN 20. I'll also enable the IP address management which is an IPAM solution with Nutanix. So I put in the subnet prefix, 192.168.20.0 with a slash 24. I give it in the gateway IP address, put in some DNS servers. So I'll put in my domain controller here and also Google's account. So it is a comma separate net field, so you need to put that in. I also put in the domain suffix and domain name for my domain and add a, a IP pool to the subnet as well. So put in 192.168.20.10.2.99. I'll hit submit to save the configuration. And after that, submit again. So that's my internal network and also create my DMC network. It's the same process. It's VLAN 100 this time. I still use the IP address management. Just this time it's 192.168.100. And the rest is, is the same fields as before. still use my internal DNS server as the primary one because then I can put in my Netscaler when I get that to use my internal DNS servers. Create a new IP pool. Then submit and submit again. So this is all the only thing I need at the moment for my internal networks. The next thing I want to do is do the image configuration. And this is the place I upload ISOs for use on my server installations. So I upload a Windows Server 2016. The image type is selected as ISO. Put it in the default storage container and select upload a file. 
just browse to my computer where I have the ISO located. You can see here standard server installation and just hit save. This will upload the file to the Nutanix cluster. And this is going to take a bit. For the time being, I'm uploading the Server 2016 image, and the next thing I'll be uploading is the, the drivers for Nutanix, so I have Windows drivers for them as well. But you can put just about any ISO you want to boot on into this um, image library. There we go, the upload is complete. So I'll upload another image. This is going to be the drivers for Nutanix. So on my instance, I'm going to just calling it Nutanix drivers. And I'll put a version number in, in just a bit. The image type will again be an ISO. Again, upload a file and choose the file. I'll go and fetch my drivers as part of the Fedora project. So it's good virtual, there's a win. And I'll call it the version name with 1.135 and hit save. So this is a way smaller file, so it will fail quick. And just hit close. So this concludes the first and initial configuration part of Nutanix cluster. The next video I'll be uploading will be about creating the first VM. So stay tuned for that one.